bonjour. Hi there. How you doing? Good. You? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Are so you on your way home? I'm on, I'm on my way home. Mm -hmm. So, um, I sent you a link. <laughs> What's that? I sent you a link. Not sure if you had a chance to look at it or not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I took a look at it. And it's, it's no wonder that, uh, that there's not much uh, money-wise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was... Um, okay, so, well, I guess let's introduce the topic today. Okay. Um, so I would I, I pulled a, a news feed off of somewhere I can't remember where, and it was talking about how each streaming service pays um, the artist, i.e., people like me and Todd. Um, and uh, it was sobering. Now I've had some frustration with this um, when we finally got our numbers back on how much money we've made off the. Uh, the stream of our CDs and the sale of our CDs. Right. Um, so anyway, so this article, which we'll share, uh, basically breaks down um, market share for each of the streaming services, as well as best payouts for all the streaming services. Right. Now, you, you don't have that in front of you, do you, that article? Because I, yeah. can't, I can't pull it up. I can't pull numbers up, so... If you have numbers, yeah. that's great. I'd like to quote these numbers because they're very interesting numbers. Yeah, I get the numbers. It's um, well, the the highest one is is Xbox. Yeah, um, Xbox Music, which I've never heard of. No, and oh, we, I, 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 you've never heard of Xbox Music? Okay. Well, I mean, I don't have an Xbox, so that's probably yeah. <laughs> so I would, uh, I don't use it, but. Uh, that that seemed to be the highest paying one, which was uh, was like two, almost three cents. Per stream. I guess every time you're, yeah, for streaming for your song, I guess. Yeah. And then the worst is YouTube, which is like point zero 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 seven four. So the basically thing, uh, I don't think you're going to make a living off of YouTube streaming, uh, at least not the audio. Anyway, I'm not too sure what the video. I'm not too sure what their uh, what the payout is per, per video, but um, I guess audio wise, it's it's not even worth looking into. <laughs> it's um, yeah, and so in the, to the right of those numbers, it also shows market share. So Xbox pays the best. Who pays the worst is YouTube, right? And yeah, then YouTube um, pays, pays the worst. Yeah. And what does it pay? Uh, the well, YouTube, yeah, it's point zero 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 seven four zero 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 seven four zero 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 seven four. So I mean, it's not even, yeah, I mean, not even close to penny per per, per song, like not even close. <laughs> it's it's a uh, hundredth of a penny, I think, or something. Yeah, like a hundred plays per penny. I don't know. <laughs> so it's just ridiculous. And then um, on the right of that, there was a graph that showed the uh, who has the the best market share. Yeah, the market share. Well, it's eight point four percent market share for YouTube. Eight point four. Eight point four. Yeah. Okay. Now, who had the largest market share? Uh, Spotify. By a large margin. What's their per, what's their per, uh, what's their market well, it, share? It's, it's the largest. It's forty seven point eight percent. So forty-seven point what? Point eight percent. Okay, so that's how much market share Spotify has. Now, where does Spotify rank in the payment of artists in that uh, uh, list? Well, it's the third worst. Uh, <laughs> YouTube is, is the worst worst. Pandora is the second worst at uh, point zero zero one three four. And as you can see, point zero zero one. Is a lot higher than YouTube's point zero 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 seven. <laughs> so, and then uh, Spotify is is point uh, zero zero three nine seven. Wow. So it's uh, yeah, you'd have to the song would have to play at least you know well three times, four times to actually get a penny out of it. <laughs> so you're getting point three percent 
0.3%. Not even 3%, but 0.3% on Spotify. Right. Which is still a far cry better than YouTube. Right. And they're popular, which is probably why they have the 47, you know, just under the market. But they pay, you know, the third worst. So, so here's the conundrum that, that, that this puts me in. Because we're, we're getting, well... Okay, so with this podcast, we're we're sporting pretty good numbers, um, but this is a non-monetary podcast, which is why we're getting ourselves hooked up on Patreon and looking for subscribers and that sort of thing. Basically, what this shows is um, if you're looking for a revenue stream off of Spotify or Google or any of those places, and I think Google pays a lot better than Spotify, if I if I recall correctly. Uh, that's the, the next one after Spotify is Google. And oh. They're at uh, point zero zero six one one. Okay. So they're, you know, almost a penny. So they're paying point six percent versus point three, I think it was. Right. right. And then Deezer, Deezer is very close at point zero zero six two four, but not by much. So um, Penn, was it? Which is the one, which is Jay Z has his own um, streaming service. I think it's called Tidal. Tidal, yeah. Where, where does uh, Tidal you, rank in there? Well, you get a penny per song. So that's, uh, well, it's point zero one. Well, it's point zero one two eight four. Point zero one. Holy crap. Okay, so that's a far, far cry from what Spotify's paying. Yeah. That's a lot more. Way more. Okay, the reason uh, I was asking, okay, because we have. The numbers I'm getting back from our provider is a little sketchy. I, I, not not sketchy, but I, I'm having a hard time. I don't think all the numbers are there that we need to see. But if we were, if everyone was listening to us on Title, then we would have actually made like five bucks. Oh really? <laughs> or something like that. Okay. Well, okay. So, <laughs> not that yeah, we're doing this for money, but this is just to just this is just to show transparency of how the current market works right. versus now, don't the old these, way of how it worked. Now, don't forget these are these are their rates. Now, when you go to a service like like we did. Yeah. They also take their cut, right? Yeah, well, so, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so so that we're we're doing even worse. <laughs> yeah, going through the middleman, I guess you could call it. Yep. And then going right through the company. Yeah. Oh, so you're, man. you're you're pretty you're pretty much better off as a middleman than you are. Okay, so cool okay, so let, let's think this through here. So I, I believe Ed, Ed Sheeran is the most streamed person on Stra- on Spotify. And he's got streams in the neighborhood of, I think, two billion. So, right. do you got a calculator there? So you got like a hundred bucks. <laughs> well, let, let, let's let's just let's just test the theory. So, two billion views, right? Right. So, can you take two billion times the okay, Spotify rate, okay. and let's see how much okay, so money Ed two, Sheeran made? Okay, so t- two billion. Two billion, I think it was. Okay, so I get two billion. You want to multiply that by what? By the by that what you got for Spotify? Uh, yeah, for Spotify. Uh, yeah. Point uh, zero zero three. I just want to see seven. if Ed Sheeran can retire off his Spotify money or not. Well, he got seven. I get seven billion nine hundred forty thousand. So, so off of two billion downloads, they paid right. him seven million dollars. Yeah, but that's just from one. That's just from Spotify. Yeah, but at 50, at forty percent, forty-seven, whatever it was, percent market share, his biggest chunk of money will come from them. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if they register the music through Spotify, then Spotify is laughing. So he makes seven million there. Now he doesn't make that seven million because he's on a record label. So the way record labels pay. It's ten percent or less. Well, everybody wants what, a piece of the pie. Well, exactly. Yeah. So let's so ten percent of what you say seven million. Yeah, seven million. So what's ten percent of seven million? 
assuming he's getting a high end 10%. Well, was it seven? Yeah, we're already here. Maybe he's not working. Okay, so we get uh, seven million. <laughs> yep. Times and we're ten, multi- times in, point in one times point one. <laughs> well, ten percent is seven hundred thousand. So off of two billion streams on Spotify, he got paid seven hundred grand. Yeah. That is horrible. It is. That is horrible. <laughs> That's actually criminal. Okay. Well, I, it's, yeah. It, it, that's the way they have it set up. You sign up with their agreement for the rate, and you're, you're your own worst enemy. <laughs> so, okay. So just this for further perspective here. So mm-hmm. we pressed our own CDs. Right. We printed our own. We printed our own CDs. We went and bought the, the, the CDs that were burned. Right. We did the recording in-house. So right. our, our dome CD was done entirely in-house with minimal expenditure on the burning process, the, uh, the printing, um, all that stuff. Yeah, the okay. case CD. Like this so on a CD, so what was our, so let's figure this out. So we were selling our CDs for 10 bucks the hard copy of the CD. Yeah. But we were able to record... We were able to record, not for free, we had to rent a little bit of gear. And, you know, plus the time investment, of course, but... I mean, the cost of the CDs, the cost of the printing, and the cost of the gear was, I don't know, 200 bucks maybe with the rent, because we had to rent those blanks and stuff. Is it safe to say maybe two hundred dollars in expenditure or less? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay, I have to go through all the receipts. Yeah, okay. Okay, so okay, so we'll say two hundred bucks. We paid twenty bucks to our service. Um, twenty plus taxes and stuff like that for our service for a return of I think we're currently at three dollars and sixty seven cents. Yeah. <laughs> and then when we sell the CDs, we, I think we, didn't we, what did we make, 150 bucks? Like we sold $150, so 15 CDs or 25 CDs. Oh no, we sold 25 CDs. Mm-hmm. I mean, some of them we did, I did give a couple of freebies out, but we'll say, so two, 20 CDs, we'll say at full price. 20 times 10, that's 200 bucks. So mm-hmm. that paid for our expenditures. Mm-hmm. And we're still waiting for the streaming to pay for itself. <laughs> right. So, and that streaming is only good. And, and what you paid for the streaming was for one year, right? Yes, for only for one so, year, correct. Yeah. So it's like a Costco membership. If you're not going to spend over a certain amount of money for your concierge or whatever they call it uh, to make your money back, then it's not really it's pointless to, to go and pay for for membership. So I'm not I'm not trying to. I, I'm not trying to slam, I try not to be negative on this podcast or slam people or slam companies, but I just want to give perspective for the artists out there that, um, that, that he, like, here is your, uh, ROI, your return on investment is that right. I, I know I got, mo- I got, I got mocked when I said we're going to actually have CDs for sale. Some people are like, oh, really? You're going to have CDs for sale? Do people still use those? Well, yes. And the reason why is even if we only sold 20 CDs, right, for example, right. we still made more money off 20 CDs than we did off of, you know, 400 or 500 streams or downloads. Right. And in fact, when someone bought our CD, like someone actually went and bought a digital copy of our CD, we got a little better than 50%. So we got paid $5.56 off of what they were charging nine ninety five dollars for. Right. So it was cheaper to buy our CD on any streaming service you want, and we made, whatever, 50, uh, 57.6%. Of that, right. hmm. so 
bends, if you're out there and you're thinking of putting yourselves on, on lots of services, if you want the exposure, streaming is obviously, obviously, obviously the way to go. We got a yeah. lot more. Uh, we got a lot more visibility from having our album available all over the place, and we got a lot of streams actually. Like, we got a lot more streams than we did sales of the actual physical CD. So, yeah. you know, and some people are listening to our, like, we get our stats back on, on who's looking, you know, who's buying, who's streaming, that sort of stuff. And, and you know, we do have, like, it's all over, it's, you know, in a lot of different countries in the world. So that's great. But, in terms of exposure, there's no way to get that without streaming. True. That, that being said, the physical copy, the distribution, if we chose to have it available in stores and that sort of thing, there's no way we would have gotten our return on investment. So if you want exposure, yeah, streaming is the way to go and you're just going to lose money on the streaming venture. Don't expect to make any money on streaming at all. Unless you're, unless you're like super popular. <laughs> well, yeah, but even then we proved the theory that, you know, like for all the dates and all the, you know, all the legwork that Ed Sheeran put in, he made right. 700 grand that's all he made. Right. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll go up. I'll go up the list. So, so Spotify was point zero zero three. Yep. Uh, Google was point zero zero six one one. Uh, Deezer is uh, zero point zero zero six two four. Amazon was zero point zero seven four zero. Uh, Apple Music was zero point zero zero seven eight three. So Apple's actually uh, then, a lot better for pay. Yeah. So Apple Apple was much better, and I think someone had bought our full album. Off of Apple. Oh, no. Yeah, Apple right. is the one that gave us 57.6%, I think. Right. So then there was the uh, the title music, which was 0 .01284. Uh, then there's Rhapsody, which was uh, 0 0.1682. And then the Xbox was the most at 0 .02730. So, like, just over two cents a song. Wow. So yeah, um, Xbox. The Xbox Music one has been rolled into Spotify. Spotify right. will now take take that over. For right. Xbox, yeah, which is disappointing because you know they went from the best paying to the artist to the third worst paying to the artist. Right. And I guess um, was it? Uh, let's see here. Pandora's radio uh, slow descent into obscurity. Um, so I guess it looks like um, this year might be their year when they get the bucket. I guess. Yeah, I think so. Now I've used I've used Xbox like it's through the Xbox Live Marketplace. Like we actually rent movies through there. Um, I would have considered doing music through there, but it just wasn't convenient at the time. And, and you know, I'll, I'll be honest. In terms, if we want to flip that that um, all those stats around. In terms of what the customer gets, um, Spotify is is great from a consumer perspective. So right. if you want to, you know, the, the way the playlist works, all that sort of stuff, it's a free service, which might be part of the issue. I think that's right. why they have such high market shares because it's a free service and you can pay for the premium service. So maybe that is the flaw in their model to the artist is right. that they're offering you know this music for free i mean there's ads on there and they're supplementing things with ads but if you pay for it you don't get the ads right. while other services like google and all those you can't really use their service unless you pay for it so now I, i'm going to be honest i don't mind paying for my music i, I really don't like we pay for our google membership and we pay the fifth fourteen ninety five a month, and that's the best bang for your buck out of all streaming services, at least in Canada. Right. It has the best deal. So, you know, you get four memberships for four. You get four memberships for fourteen ninety five. It's the family plan. Mm -hmm. Really good deal. So, like Sylvie and I each have our own, and then um, you know we, we've shared that with you know two people in the family. So we get unlimited music, which is great. 
But the one thing that I noticed is that Spotify is number one because they're offering free stuff, okay? But their playlists mm -hmm. are really well known and, you know, a lot of people go to Spotify for their playlists. Like, okay, I want to, I really like Leonard Skinner, for example. Right. So you can build, a, you can, you can get a playlist built around Leonard Skinner and listen to a bunch of stuff that sounds like Leonard Skinner, like very, very easily. You can do that on all streaming services, but I've noticed right. because I've actually tested this a little bit between Spotify and Google and Spotify seems to have the edge there. Um, and in terms of, I also try to create playlists on multiple platforms. I try to create a YouTube playlist. I try right. to create a Spotify playlist and I try to create a Google playlist. So I used to, I don't know if you remember Todd, but I used, I used to make a lot of mixtapes in the day right. uh, for people. And people used to pay me to make mixtapes for them. And it was my, you know, my idea was, look, I want to expose you to music and I want to turn you on to music and I want to turn you into bands that you've probably never heard of before. So you go out and buy, buy their music. So it was right. a teaser to get people to buy music that they might not have heard otherwise. So I actually did, I, what I tried to do is recreate two mixes that I, that I had, that I'd made, that someone had paid me for, and right. I tried to re recreate them on all three of those streaming services. And the only, so the ratio on Google and Spotify were fairly close. Right. In that I was able to recreate probably about 40 to 55% of the playlist. Right. Um, Spotify fared a little better. It seems like their catalog might be a bit larger. Mm -hmm. um, and then Google play, Google uh, Music didn't do as well. Like I think they're at 40%. And I got like 55% on Spotify. And then on YouTube, I did create a, a playlist off YouTube which is also owned by Google, interestingly enough. But because they have access to videos and live concerts and stuff like that, I was able to get 85% on YouTube. Hmm. So it's interesting because people don't make music videos for everything, but people have gone and made lyric videos on there and those sorts yep. of things and you know I mean the artist gets paid yeah you know. I mean I've, I've seen people take music like music that's out there and just made their own video to it yeah which, which aren't half bad some of them <laughs> well no exactly so well, I guess the question I have I mean and YouTube is a paid service as well but you get ads you know every however many plays but I don't know, bang for the buck for the customer, for the consumer, might actually be um, YouTube. Because YouTube is free, just like Spotify is, but you have more access. And by more access, I mean Spotify and, and all those have a horrible representation of independent artists. And if artists don't upload their stuff to Spotify or Google like we did... If they right. don't, they choose not to because they don't like the rate of return on payment. Right. They may, they are, they are invariably will always post videos to YouTube. You know, live. You know, we we play live at this venue. We play live at that venue. So you're more likely to find a band that's a little more obscure on YouTube. And I, I really tested this theory out. I was looking for, you know, um, like Japanese bands and. Uh, you know, some weird hair metal bands from the 80s that people hadn't heard of except for me and Corey, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was able to find, like I said, 85% of my searches I was able to find on YouTube. Yeah. Like from local Winnipeg bands, you know, that have maybe actually never put an album out. Right. Or they only put like um, an EP out or whatever, like a four song EP. I was able to find 85% on YouTube. That's, that's really good. And to me, it shows, you know, what work these streaming companies need to do to be on par with YouTube. I think YouTube can maybe take that to better their Google Play and offer more. Right. See, now I wonder where XM Radio falls in this. Because I know that's a subscription one also, but, but yeah, it's not on the they, list. 
How does so how does is radio like invite only or <laughs> that's you know what that's maybe something we need to look up and we can maybe talk about what the pay rate is on radio uh, versus streaming. Is it better? Is it worse? Um, that's a very good question. But maybe maybe it's five cents a play. But anything that's on XM radio is all popular music. I don't think I've you know unless they have specific stations for just True. independent True. ones, but. Because uh, anything I go to, like was it hair radio or whatever, that's that's one I go to automatically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, but I mean, they, they must have their own their own types of list. Yeah, but they don't they don't play things as often as it would on a uh, on streaming. No, you can get a hundred people playing the same song at the same time versus five radio stations playing the same yeah. song at the same time. So but I mean, I, I think well, the same. Yeah. Uh, see, you, YouTube was right from the get go, right from the beginning. Yep. Like that was way before any of these other ones came out, as far as I know. Yeah. Um. And I mean, that's the staple. Like anything I want to see, I just go to YouTube, punch it in. You know, it's there or not. Um, these other services, I would have never. I wouldn't go. Okay, well now I'm going to load. Spotify, oh, they want you to load their program. Okay, I like that. But, as, know, but just, as a musician, too, too, too as a musician, too, if there's a song you're trying to learn, I would always go to YouTube first because, A, you can maybe see the video they made for it if they made a video. And if you're trying right. to figure out what how they played something, you know, if you're trying to right. see the fingering on the guitar or something, or, right. or alternately, you can find a how-to video on how to play a particular song, which the artist gets paid for those, too. So... Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, because it's copyrighted material. If there's anything copyrighted on there and someone is has their channel that pays, they have to, the, the money goes to the artist. Like, I can't remember exactly how that whole thing works, but if you have copyrighted material on your YouTube channel, they, they have um, bots and stuff that always check stuff out. They will divert the funds to the artist. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, because at one point, like, you wouldn't see, like, the other pulled left, right, and center, because, I mean, it was copyright infringement, but if they're finding ways saying, okay, well, this is this song, according to the algorithm that, you know, they ran through it, then this artist should get paid. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. I, I, I have no problem with that. Yeah. I mean, then, I mean, at least you can watch it as many times as you want, and the artist gets paid for it. But, but, obviously, your, but your fans can get your music out there so you can get paid, too. That's kind of the cool thing. Yeah, no. but but if but if it's but if the videos now this thing on YouTube that says streaming music streaming now do they have a separate yeah, division one for one for video and one for audio only? Sorry, my, my daughter's okay. Well, let's carry this on later. All right, Todd. What's that? We'll carry this on later. Okay. <laughs> okay, sounds, sounds good. All right. All right. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Okay. So I thought I would uh, finish uh, the podcast here with um, the, I kind of got abruptly ended when uh, I came home and my uh, my kids were kind of freaking out. But um, I guess what I wanted to say was um, there was uh, we fin- Todd and I finished off with talk about um, streaming music and streaming videos on YouTube and the difference between the two and. Um, looks like Google Music and YouTube are joining forces or merging their brands, even though it's all Google, but uh, they're merging um, together to form some sort of paid tier for YouTube where you can stream through YouTube. I'm not really sure how all that works. I'm still kind of looking into it myself to see what it is. Um, And I'm not sure structurally if it makes sense, Maybe it's to expand their base, expand, uh, put it all under one roof so they can combine their numbers between the two services that they provide. Um, is that going to be better? 
Or is that going to be worse for the musician and for the listener? Time will tell. But uh, we're going to cap it off here. We'll see you on the flip side. And um, I, I, I really want to... Um, I really want to get some input on this episode from the bands out there. So if you've got your two cents you want to put in on this, I would really appreciate hearing what you guys have to say. Um, But anyway, uh, stay cool, stay calm, and we'll see you on the flip side.